Hi everyone and I hope you all are having a great week. I just want to send regards to everyone from our beautiful land of Israel as you see the beautiful scenery over here. I wanted to speak to you today and give you a small idea about Parashat Ekel, which is a parasha that we're going to be reading this coming week. There's a beautiful idea that's written here in the, in the, in the verses and it requires a bit of a question. It describes when God tells the Jewish people about the land of Israel and how amazing the land is going to be. At the end of that description, God says to the Jewish people, but don't forget, I am your God who took you out of the land of Egypt. And that requires a bit of a question. Why does he end like that? It's a bit interesting. And the amazing explanation is like this. It's very easy for us as people to forget the source of where everything comes from. When things are going hard, when things are not easy, we forget and we ask, why? Why is this happening to us? Why is that happening to us? And we suddenly remember where the source and what the source is. We remember where everything really comes from. But when things are going well, we forget. We never ask why. We never look around and say, oh, the source, where it comes from. We think it's me. I did it all. It was because of me that everything is working out. And it reminds me of an example, which I don't know if it's actually true, but if it is true, then well done to these grandparents who always used to send birthday cards to their children and their grandchildren and always used to put some money in the birthday card. But they never really used to get a response back, maybe a text saying thank you or an email, but never a phone call or a proper visit to the grandparents. And one day they decided, you know what, let's not send it anymore. Let's stop sending the birthday cards and the money. And you know what, very quickly, they suddenly got responses and they suddenly got emails, and they suddenly got phone calls and visits. And suddenly their kids and grandchildren wanted to know how they're doing. Do you know why? Because when things were going well, and they were receiving message, uh, messages, and they were receiving cards and money, everything, they forget where it comes from. They forget who to turn to and say, oh, thank you. But suddenly when they don't have it, when it's been taken away from them, they suddenly remember who that, where it came from. It came from the grandparents. And then they were able to suddenly remember to turn around and call them go visit them. And that's the same thing with us. God knows how we work and he knows that when things are going well, we forget where it's come from. We forget the source and we think that it's me. Me, myself and I that did everything. But when things are not going well, all of us in our own way suddenly know how to say why. We suddenly know how to question. We suddenly remember where the source really comes from. And that's what the explanation of the verse in this week's parasha. When God says to us at the end of all the description of how amazing Israel is going to be, He says, but don't forget, I am the God who took you out of the land of Israel. Sorry, out of the land of Egypt. The source is me. Everything that I do is the source. This is me. But you will forget when things are going well. So it's just a reminder to us. Let's remember that even when things are going well, let's not forget the source. Let's not forget where it all comes from. I hope you're all having a great week and I'll see you next week.